Thad, how are you, man? I'm fine, hot, but I'm fine. Yeah, it's a little warm out. Hey, we're, we are getting a steady breeze off the hurricane now, right? That feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you can find a shade. Yep, you're well. getting a shade around here. Woo, man, look at this. Another one of those cab overs, man. Wow, that's a phenomenal build, man. What year is that? It's a 1940 Ford. Wow. Man, I, I, when you pulled up in this thing, I'm going, look at that. What a piece of art. Okay, so it's a little short for my standards. So how'd you make it short like that? I took a torch to the frame. <laughs> it was had about a 16 foot, 16 and a half foot frame from the back of the cab because it was a two and a half ton, two ton truck, oh. far, old farm truck. So I cut it off and I mounted everything back where I wanted the rear end and figured out where my bed and all was going to be put at. And I just chopped her off and put her back together. So, okay, so you took the uh, the back half of the frame off and then moved the rear end forward, right? Pretty much. Right. It, 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 all it had was an old wooden bed on it when I got it. Yeah. And, and, I mean, I took the whole wooden bed off of it, and yeah. I just figured out where I wanted uh, everything to be, and I took a torch and cut it and put it, you know, grind it off and put it back yep. like I wanted. it. And then this is the way it turned out. It looks pretty good, I think. Oh, man, I'd say. Wow, you did all the body work and all the paint and everything yourself? I done everything on it. Sure did, except for the upholstery. I didn't do the upholstery. Okay. Somebody else done that. I didn't do that. All right, so it's safe to say, Thad, he's an artist. Look at this thing. That's gorgeous, man. Beautiful. Hey, what color What color you call that? It's got black cherry pearl with the fenders are black on it. Okay. So. And, man, when you see this thing rolling up on you, folks, it is beautiful. All right, what we running, man? What we got for a power plant? <clears throat> 305 Chevrolet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe a Ford, but it's got a yeah, Chevrolet yeah. power in it. It's got Chevy power in it. All right, so you got an automatic transmission, perhaps? 400 transmission in it, yep, yeah. turbo 400. Okay. Um, 370, 370 rear end in it. I also yeah. have a Chevrolet Blazer. All right. Yep. Mustang two front end in it. So. Wow, okay, judging by the size of the rear fenders, man, I would guess you had some other type of rear end under it. You must have some just really wide tires under there. Yeah, those are real wide. I, don't, I yeah. can't remember exactly how wide those are without going back there and okay. looking at them. But yeah, uh, yeah. That, that, the bed is off of a Dodge Power, about a 48, 49 Dodge Power wagon. Yeah. Cut down to fit on this old Ford here, you know, yeah. with them, and that's steel fenders on there too. All, the whole bed's steel, yeah. so. In order to look at the engine and all that, you'd have to open up something inside, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd have to take the whole doghouse out of it. Yeah, okay. We're not we, we won't do that. You can't tell it. Yeah, yeah, okay. You might get a peek if you look through them our little holes in the grill. I've seen a bunch of people all yep. day trying to figure yep. out what's under there. But, in there, yeah. Yeah. Most <laughs> yeah. people put them in the back in the in the uh, back of the bed, but I didn't want to do that on this old truck. I just left it where it was at. All right. But well, got I got the original it. frame under it, so and I just. Put the Chevrolet motor right where I want it. All right. Sweet build, man. I got to take a peek at the interior, man. Look at this thing. Wow. Okay. Hey, there's plenty of leg room and headroom in there, that's for sure. These, these old cab overs, it's man, they, they, they're roomy. Some, you know, it's a, it's a little bit tight in there when you sit in there and try to drive it. It is tight. Yeah. It, it really is, yeah. They made these trucks for the farm. They didn't make them drive down the road every day. <laughs> yeah. They made them for the farm, and Thad made it for the road, man. That's right. a, that's a roadworthy truck, though, man. Now it is. Now it is. It runs good going down the road. You yeah. think it, it's got air ride suspension under it. It's yeah. good riding a little truck. Oh, boy. So. Hey, man, if, well, if you ever get bored, man, I would love to have one. But I ain't got no money for one, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know where you're going to get one of them at. I'm, this is my third one doing. Well, really? my second cab over, and I got a Dodge Power Wagon I've done. Okay. And, a, well, a Chevrolet cab over, too, that I've done. So, yep. but Rough estimated value? Don't even have a clue. Just put, yeah. the, put the receipts in the bag and don't even worry don't about it. Don't even look it. at the receipts. Once you, once you start, you ain't going to stop till yep. you get finished. Gotcha.